Hello, social media. Welcome to Lakita T Sharp's famous, exclusive, inspirational channel. I am so happy that you have decided to join me on today. So I welcome you. Hello, you guys. Welcome, welcome. Check out my books over at Amazon.com. Head over to my website for additional inspiration. And if you want me to coach you during this hour, feel free to reach out to me. And also, um, if you want to donate and sow a seed to the ministry or to guide or to support the ministry, um, feel free to sow a seed. And also, um, well, let's get on. Let's get on. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I hope you guys are doing well today. And I, this video is inspired because I get comments about, you know, um, am I doing work just to receive money from you or just to receive money, you know, being a ministry leader and am I doing God's work? Am I loving God in order to just receive money? You know, um, so I want to talk about why ministries ask, um, for money, you know, and this is, um, global. This is a global thing of why ministries ask for money. Now, I have to say that when you are called into ministry, a lot of us have been called into ministry, literally called by God into ministry. And we have given up our lives to serve the kingdom of God. So it is part of our work and what we do and who we are. And, you know, it takes a lot to keep a ministry running and to keep a ministry going. It takes a lot to be able, you know, you give ministry, you give tithes and offerings to your church. Um, for those of you to, who actually go to a physical church, this is an online ministry. So I'm pretty much like an online church, an online ministry. You know, so, um, you know, so pretty much like when you're, when you are sowing your seeds and when you are giving, you are giving to help further the ministry, to help us to continue to work and to continue to go, um, forward in the ministry. Okay. You are continuing to help us be able to do the work of God that God has called us to do, you know, pretty much. And you are a help to us. Now, pretty much in the Bible, what happened was pretty much in the Bible is that um, when God, when the ministers would go out and do work for the kingdom of God, you know, God, the God would say, and Jesus would tell them that, you know, hey, whatever you receive, you know, give, give to the ministry, give to my followers, give to them, give to the, 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 the ministry, you know, so that they can be able to survive, so that they can be able to live, so that they can be able to have what they need. Everything goes to the priests. Everything goes to take care of them. So basically, you know, that's what, you know, when you are giving, you are giving to help us and don't, and what you don't, what you don't know is that, what you don't know is that when you are giving, when you are giving, um, you are blessing, um, God is blessing you. God is going to bless you right on back. See, that's the thing. When you are giving to God and giving to his people and you're giving, and especially when you are sowing on good ground, God is going to bless you. You are sowing seeds. Those are considered seeds. When you give some money, that is a seed you're so. And to the measure you give, that's what's going to come back to you. So if you give in a cheerful heart, you know, you will... Um, you know, um, it would come back to you, you know, even greater, you know, if you give in a grudgingly heart, you know, you know, God says he wants us to be cheerful givers, you know, cause God doesn't need your money. You know, God doesn't need your money. And honestly, you know, God blesses me and taking, take care of me anyway. 
regardless of what happens, God takes care of me and takes care of the ministry. That's just a done deal because it's his ministry and he's going to make sure that I eat. He's going to make sure that I have clothes. He's going to make sure that I have all that I need to keep the ministry running. You know, he's going to do that. So you may feel a certain way and say, I am not going to give to ministry. I'm not going to give to nobody, but you are, you are, you're not helping yourself. You are not helping yourself. The reason why I get so far, because I am a giver. I give, I support ministries. Even I have a ministry, but I support other ministries. I give to other leaders. I pay my tithes and I pay my offering. I give 10% of all of my profits to the Lord. And if I want to bless him with more and offering, I still do so. So, um, you know, um, when you give, it is a blessing to the most high. It is a blessing to the kingdom when you give. Okay, so that's why ministries ask for money. They ask for money to help the ministry and to help further the ministry. You, there is, if you are watching me, you have, I have every right to ask you to bless the ministry and give to the ministry because you are feeding off of me. You are feeding off of my knowledge, off of my mind, and off of what I'm giving you to cause you to not go through things that I've been through. And I'm saving you, I'm saving you time, I'm saving you energy, I'm saving you, um, I'm saving you from falling. So that's every right for you. Wherever you are getting fed, you should give to the ministry. You should give to the ministry. Wherever you are getting fed, wherever you are, people are feeding you, you should give. And especially if you are faithful, you should, you, 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 I mean, you should support the ministry. You should you should give to the ministry. You know, no matter where you are going, you should you should give you know, and, and be a blessing to those of the ministers who are blessing you and they are giving their life for you in order for you to sit back and relax and enjoy. So it's only right anyway. I mean, that's only right. Even I know that, you know, that, um, it's only right anyway, you know, so, um, you know, God wants you to give from your heart. God wants to wants you to give and be cheerful about giving to him. You know, when you're giving, you're giving to God, you know, and God doesn't want you to, to give and be, you know, grudgingly, you know, and, and have a, you know, be stingy. He, he wants us to be God's character. God's character is generous, you know, so he wants us to be more generous anyway, he wants us to be more like him. You know, that's the whole goal for us to be more like God's character, for us to be more like Jesus' character. That is the whole goal, you know, um, of it anyway. So, yeah, so when you are sowing and when you are giving, yes, I love God. And no, I don't do this ministry just to make money. You know, that I do this ministry for my own purposes, for my love for God, for doing what I'm called to do and to ask for a donation I feel like um you know I'm giving my my knowledge you know so you know it's just like you're reading books and you're taking in knowledge and you're paying for you know the book you're going to a movie you're paying for the movie you know you're watching this video you know you are donating and sowing the seed into the ministry to help the ministry grow you know that is you know however god is calling you to sow and lead into the ministry well anyway i thank you so much i hope this video helped on why ministries ask for money and um you know I am doing it for the right reasons. I can't speak for everybody else, but I am doing it for the right reasons. And, you know, test me. You know, you're watching me. And if the word of God come true in your life, you know that I am from God. I am from God. You know, test my word. You know, so I only speak for what the God, what God leads me to speak. You know, I only speak and say what God wants me to say. And put Lakita to a side and allow God to have his way. Pretty much. Well, anyway, I will see you in the next video. We are the chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We make a lot of mistakes. But we are the chosen. We are the chosen ones. I will see you 
in the next video. Bye-bye for now.